So, one of my viewers, Jorgen Sachs, challenged me to a shiny race. The rules started off fairly simple. We would join a union circle and make a level 3 ice type shiny power sandwich and then hunt in Dele Zappa Passage just outside of Zappa Pico. And the first person to find and catch a shiny Satoddal would be crowned the winner. Neither of us really thought this hunt would take that long, but Satoddal just didn't want to shine for either of us. Sneasel, on the other hand, had absolutely no problem being pink over and over and over and over again. And on my fifth shiny Sneasel, I decided to attempt to bargain with the shiny gods. Why couldn't it have been you, huh? Oh, you caught me. See, a wise man once told me that to appease the shiny gods and get a shiny Satoddle, there has to be a cost. Equal exchange. Goodbye, Sneasel. Oh, sevens in the chat, everyone. We thank you for your sacrifice, Sneasel. Once our shiny power had then run out, I reset my game, forgetting that I had saved before fighting the shiny Sneasel. And so, Sneasel was resurrected. Minutes. Wait, what? What just happened? Oh yeah, I saved. Okay, so I... <laughs> Chat decided that since this Sneasel had literally defied the laws of time to be here, we needed to put it to the test. Yeah, kill it again, I guess. I was thinking, oh, I could get my Herba back. No, you're not getting away. Come here. Oh, all guillotine. Check if the gods want him to survive. Guillotine, for those of you that don't know, is a one-hit KO move with a 30% chance to hit. So, that's a 70% chance that Sneasel would continue to exist. It didn't. My King Gambit landed the move and Sneasel fainted. A second time. <laughs> this poor Sneasel! <laughs> Brilliant, okay, okay. Well, the gods are appeased. They are appeased now. It's time to get Sadoddle. But this Sneasel had inspired a brand new rule for this race. A rule that entirely changed the direction of this hunt. Every shiny that you find that isn't Sadoddle, you have to guillotine. Yeah. Alright. You know what? You know, uh, yeah, I like the sound of that. Every Pokemon. That, are we, is this a joint thing? Is this a joint thing? Every single shiny that we find that is not a Satoddle during this race, you have to use guillotine on it at least once. All right, deal, shake on it. <laughs> There's a lot of shinies here I don't have as well, so this is gonna be risky. Now, we had actually missed one very important little detail on exactly how guillotine works, but more on that later. And with my King Gambit, aptly named Grim, me and Jorgen continued this race with this new rule in mind. And after using guillotine on only one more Sneasel, I found my shiny Satoddle. Jorgen! It's a shiny Satoddle! <laughs> Yes! You are not getting guillotined, my friend, but you are getting false swiped. Yes! And then I accidentally fainted it. I didn't think it had double edge. I didn't think it had double edge. I got excited. I got way too excited. I actually did then find another shiny Satoddle quite soon after the first one and actually caught it. But someone forgot to get the highlight before the VOD expired. And 
that someone is me. But I did get it and evolved it and here it is. All in all, during this race, me and Jorgen found 14 shinies between us. Five of which were fainted, including my first Sitoddle. Me and Jorgen then decided to do a second race with a slight alteration to the rules. You have to guillotine any shiny that isn't the target, but if the first shiny you find is the target, you also have to guillotine it. This time we were racing for Sandal in the desert with a ground sparkling power sandwich. A dark power sandwich would have been the better call to get Sandal, but we wanted as many other Pokemon to spawn as possible so that we could implement the guillotine rules. And we expected this race to last as least as long as the Satoddle race, if not longer due to the amount of other Pokemon that were spawning. But nope, it lasted around 20 minutes. We started with me getting a pretty quick shiny Silicobra, which wasn't the target, so obviously I had to guillotine it, and unfortunately took it down. Wait. I <laughs> waited that That is a shiny Silicobra, right? The amount of time I spent in the desert and I don't have one of these. And as soon as we're doing the guillotine race, I get one. Okay. Come on. Let a guillotine let a guillotine finally miss, please. It never misses! It never misses! Around five minutes later, Jorgen then found his first shiny, which was a Sandal. But, because it was his first shiny, he, of course, had to use Guillotine on it. Which also hit. Again. So you have a, you have a shiny Sandal right now. I do have a shiny Sandal right in front of me. And he's about to... Die. Guillotine test. Alright, here goes nothing. No! <laughs> <laughs> no! Yes! No. Oh, that's so perfect. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well. I'm sorry, but that's good for me, so. Yeah, I know. But only a few minutes later, he found yet another shiny sandal and caught it, winning the race. Yearly? What? Oh, oh, oh. oh, what has he got? It's not another sandal, surely. I got another sandal. No, no, surely not. Surely I not. <laughs> I got another sandal. You know you want to. You know you want to guillotine it, right? You know you, you got you got a little itch to do I it. Did I got a little itch, but I'm not feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> and he wasn't even done there. In an amazing turn of luck, he then found a third shiny sandal. But at least I did get to redeem my Silicobra. Unfortunately, since doing these two races, we actually found out the guillotine has a ruling that we didn't quite know about previously. The higher your Pokemon's level is compared to the target, the higher the chance that it will hit. And because of the levels of our Pokemon, pretty much every time we used it, it had a 100% chance to land. But we have come up with a few rules to counter this and make things even more interesting. And we are definitely going to do many more of these types of races. So if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to hit subscribe to see more of these kinds of videos and follow me on Twitch to watch them live. And of course, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.